I'm going to teach some of you new collectors the basics on how you can best put your comics in bags and boards so you keep them in the best condition possible. So stay tuned. Hello comic book lovers, my name is Chris and this is my channel We Love Comics and today I'm going to do a topic that I'm not sure if anybody even talks about and may seem very basic but I notice there are new people that get into comics every single day and if you know anything about a lot of eBay sellers you can't assume they all are comic book lovers or they all know about how to properly store comics. So I'm going to do some basics to help especially newer people be able to store their comics in the best possible way. Now, if you're new to my channel, wait until the end of the video, because what I do is on every video, I do a shout-out to my subscribers. So I want to show you something really quick. If you haven't noticed when you collect comics, you'll see a lot of times, right here in this corner, there's a lot of bends. Now, why does that happen? A lot of times it happens when people are putting their comics in their bags and boards, they don't do it properly, and as they place them in, it folds this little corner up and bends it. Now, if you are a person that just reads comics, you don't care about the condition, then it doesn't matter. But if you're a collector or an investor or just somebody that wants to keep their comics in the best condition, every little wrinkle, every little fold, every little crease, every little chip will cause the value of the comic to go down dramatically. So let me show you some basics on how you can put your comics in your bags that most people are just embarrassed to talk about. So the first thing you want to do is place your board in your bag first. I've seen so many people that they'll put the bag ready to go, they'll take the comic, put it in, and then put in the, the backboard. Now the problem with that is, if you put the backing board in second, what can happen is you can end up scraping along the back end of the comic book, and you can end up chipping part of the book. And that's where you'll see a lot of chipping at the edge of the book. So you want to make sure you get the bag and board. Now, whether you use Mylar's or the regular uh, poly bags, that's up to you because, um, to me, it doesn't matter what you store a comic in if you don't have the best storage conditions. Um, I have other videos to talk about that, so I hope you'll check those out. So sometimes it just depends on cost and uh, availability. Now, the biggest thing you want is to make sure you get the right bag and board for the comic. The last thing you want to do is, for example, get a new comic book and place it in a Silver Age holder. Because if it moves around, anytime you move your boxes and things like that, what's going to happen is you're going to end up damaging the corners and the edges of the comic because it's going to move around. So you want, as you could see here, a comic that is tightly fit. So if you go to the stores, the comic book stores especially, uh, ask the person behind the counter if you're not really sure, but make sure you get the right size books. They're pretty much labeled where they'll say uh, Silver Age, Bronze Age, Gold Age. Um, a lot of comic stores will even order them for you, so they'll, they'll be very helpful. So let's show you how to put the comic in the bag, and I'm sorry about what's going on. My uh, I need a new stand for my phone, so I apologize. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to properly put this in. So, we already have the board in the bag. Now, we're just going to take a newer comic. Now, you'll see a lot of people, they'll put the book in just straight in. What happens is, a lot of times, if it gets stuck, it's going to bend and fold. And again, if you want to keep it in the best condition, um, that's not the best way to go. So, what you're going to do is, you're going to go in on an angle. You're going to place this corner in first because it's the most delicate. So you're going to open the bag, spread it open a little bit. You're going to place the corner in like this and then slide the book down. Now what I do is I will place four fingers and press down a little bit until it goes to the bottom. The last thing you want to do is pound the book down. I've seen so many people, I've even seen comic book stores do this where they'll put a comic in a bag and they will pound it down because again, that will end up damaging 
the bottom of this book. Now you can see a book like this because it's all almost all black. That's going to show every little scratch, every little dent, every little crease. And if you want to keep it in its best condition possible, well, you don't want to do that. So when you want to tape it, so let's get into that part. Okay, so when you want to tape it, here's the best thing to do. The first thing you do is you take a piece of tape and you bend down one part of it like so. So you fold that one part. So when you put the tape on the comic, you put that folded side down. So if you ever need to remove the tape, now it's a lot easier because now you have this little lip that you can grab onto and pull up. So that is how you keep this in the best um, condition. Now here's another tip that I do that I haven't seen anybody else do. With my more valuable books, because you notice these um, backing boards tend to be very thin. So they will bend. See how easy this bends? So to kind of prevent that, what I will do is, as you can see here, I will keep several backing boards in the comic. Now what I do is I put the first backing board in, then I place in the comic like I showed, and then afterwards, behind the first backing board, I will add two, three, or four extra of the backing boards. Now, you always want a brand new one that's facing the comic. You can use older ones behind that because it doesn't matter because it's not touching the comic book. So if you ever got, for example, on eBay, a, a comic book that came with a really old backing board, instead of throwing it out, now you can utilize it to um, help your older conditioned comics or more valuable comics. So this one will not bend or make it a lot more difficult to bend which will keep it in better condition. Now, obviously, it's going to take up more room in your comic book boxes, but if you want your valuable comics to be in the best condition possible, you want to um, add the extra backing boards. And like I said, use older ones, or you can even use cardboard, again, once you go behind the original backing board that is uh, behind the comic. So let's talk really quick about removing the comic from the bag and board. Now, this one's a very basic one, but I've seen people make this mistake, and it's a comic book uh, collector's nightmare. When you take a book out of its bag, and the tape gets stuck on the comic, ends up ripping your comic. Now, if that ever happens, you don't want to do, like what they say with a Band-Aid, just rip it off. Because if you rip it off, you're going to take away whatever part of the comic's color and paper with it. You're going to rip it. So you basically have to take like 15 minutes to slowly take the tape and pull as gently as you can. It takes patience, but if you do it the right way, you can remove the tape without damaging the comic at all. So how do we avoid that? Well, this is what I do. If you want to, for example, take this book out, and again, these may seem like simple things, but it's the difference between keeping a 9.8 comic and a 9.6 comic. And again, this is messed up. All right, so give me a second. Okay, so the first thing we do is, like I said, with that little lip that we created with the tape, you're going to lift that up, hold the backing board here, and just pull on an angle, because if you pull up, a lot of times you're going to rip the bag or you could bend this as you're doing it. So I go on an angle. You want to remove the tape so there's no way it can get stuck on the uh, comic. And then what I do is I hold it from the side, slide it down, and I remove the whole thing like this so the comic is still on the backing board. So this way, especially with a book like this, if you don't have comic book gloves, and uh, I know like Mr. White Gloves is probably sitting there hysterical, but you notice I didn't touch the book at all. So that's the best way to do it and keep it from bending, because a lot of times, especially with a black book, if you just pulled this out, it's going to show fingerprints, and if you crease it at all, especially along the edge here, you'll get what's called a color crease, a color break, and that will end up definitely lowering the grade of your book. So those are some of the basics on how you can keep your comics in the best condition possible. Uh, these are basic things, but I've seen people that have been co in comics for years uh, place things in not in the best way possible, and this should help. So if you appreciate it, 
give it a thumbs up. Check out some of my other videos. I have a couple of other videos that help people on how they can improve the condition of their comics, storage-wise and things like that. I have plenty of unboxing and um, other kinds of videos on my comics. And uh, don't forget to watch until the end for the subscriber scout-out. Maybe you'll be one someday. So thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. You can hit the share button. Just don't hit the person next to you because we know violence is never the answer. And uh, don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. This video was fantastic.